don't make sense, Tony. Yo, pull him up, bro. There you go. Hey, pull him up, man. Be a yeah. man, brother. Pull him up, man. You talking about thug life. Now you thinking that you a thug. So now that you think you... Put off that weak nature. You a thug. Listen. You gonna go out and act like a thug. You understand? Man, it's like this. Yeah. You see that? You see that? Future world of Israel. Uh. All that, man. Our young men are influenced by the hip hop culture, right? Right. We like to listen to the rap music. When I was coming up, it was Master P, Cash Money. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got who they got in there? Fetty Wap. Little a whole lot of garbage. We got people. a bunch of homosexuals. Drake is weird. So what's happening? One and that's putting a certain mindset in no, our no. young men's mind. Give me 1 Corinthians 15 and 33. Check this out. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. The Bible said, be not deceived. Don't be fooled at all. Come on. Evil communications corrupt good manners. What do what? Evil communications corrupt good manners. The scripture say evil communication corrupt good manners. Your mama ain't teach you where you pass that low, right? I ain't found a fault in you. I ain't never wore my pants that low because I used to have a gun on me when I was in the street. So I couldn't have my damn. But your mama ain't teach you that, right? Tell the truth. Right. So you got that from somewhere else. You saw Lil Wayne wearing it. And everybody cheering for Lil Wayne, so you thought that was cool. Right? So that evil, communi com that evil communication corrupt good behavior because your mama ain't raised you the way your pants down that low. You showing your booty. I never heard a female say, go, he got a fat butt. But guess who, a homosexual man to say that about you? You showing a man your right. tail. Give me Joe for it. Let's see what the Most High say about that. Joe, everything that is in this book, and it pertains to the so-called black man and Hispanic man. Joe 40 and 7. Joe chapter 40 and verse 7. Gird up thy loins now like a man. The Bible said gird up thy loins like a man. He thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you listen to this rock music, I mean to pull your pants up, brother. Why y'all wearing y'all pants down for another man to look at your butt, man? That don't make sense, Tony. Pull him up, bro. There you go. Hey, Pull him up, man. Be yeah. a man, brother. Pull him up, man. Have some dignity and respect, man. We're supposed to be the gods and kings on this earth. But we let this stupid rock music and all this other entertainment corrupt our minds because the so-called white man is pushing this stuff. They're pushing it to degenerate the black man. They want to effeminize us. Women used to wear their stuff tight like that. But what they do, let's check it out. Y'all, do oh, you remember when Cash Money, when Lil Wayne first came out? You probably was real young, though. They wore baggy jeans. But what happened, these so-called white men, they started paying them to wear tight jeans. They gave them a million dollars to wear these jeans. Meanwhile, because they know that the hip-hop culture has an influence on our people. Right. If hip-hop rock it, our people gonna rock it. So what they're trying to do is effeminize us. That's right. Not saying you're homosexual, but... It looks real strange for a man to have pants tighter than a female. You feel me? I ain't trying to find fun. I ain't trying to tell you that because you only born with the status quo what looks popular. Right. That's but right. it's not popular. That's a right. man don't wear that. We don't wear that stuff, man. We don't wear that. Just pull your pants up, man. Be a man. Because right. that Be evil man. communication will always corrupt good behavior. That's Give me what right. you got. Check this out. Because as we listen to these music, I'm telling you, it put a mindset on you. You start listening to the, the guns going on. Such as us saying, I'm a thug, I'm a dealer. And us growing up in poverty, and one, we see the things on television, and we want it, and the only way for us to get it is to hit the block. Am I right or wrong? Because McDonald's ain't paying enough for you to get them Jordans like you want. That's right. Them tight jeans, them tight shirts like you want. That's right. So they're putting in us certain things to turn us away, first and foremost, from our book. To get you in the streets so you can later commit some type of crime and go to jail for it. But listen to this. Check this out. This is why it's important not to let that stuff infiltrate your mind. Proverbs 23, verse 7. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23 and 7. For as he thinketh in his heart. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. The scripture, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you listen to this rock music, they're talking about thug life. Now you thinking that you're a thug. So now that you think you're a thug, you're going to go out and act like a thug. You understand? Man, it's like this. You see that? You see that? <laughs> what, what's those women? You see that? But it's being pushed right now. It's being pushed. We can talk. We, hey, we're not finding fault. 
we can talk about it. We can. All right. Come on, come talk. Do you believe in the Bible? Let's talk. Listen. Don't get offended. Let's talk. You see how mad you got? You see how mad you got? Go ahead. Go ahead then. You see how we're we going to talk about that later. We're going to talk about that later. Because anybody know that ain't right. We ain't come to find fault with nobody. But we gonna, look, look how mad you is. Look how mad you is. You're supposed to be a lady. I know. I know it's a man. But you're supposed to be lady like that, aren't you? Going crazy already. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Anyway, brothers, anyway, brothers, that's madness. They're going to be put to death by the most high. So now, you got to piss, but you're going to put on a skirt. See that? That was right on time. As you think of it as hot sauce, they think that they ain't no women. You taking something in your behind, something that meant you're going against gravity. Right? What's in your behind? Something means to come out, not to go in. That's why they catch diseases, because you're breaking blood vessels and things in there. The it's real unnatural. And they get mad out here because we try to teach our people to come back. They're going to get put to death That's right. when the most I come. He's going to burn them. Put the death when them nukes come over here. That's why we got to get out of this rock culture and start looking to see what's going on in the world. Read that again. The book of Proverbs chapter 23 and 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So as you think in your heart, so is he. So y'all need to transform your mind and start thinking that you're a king on this earth. It looks real bad for our people. I'm a king. We're in poverty. Our brothers shooting each other down. Mothers getting high. Selling their daughters. Hey, I'm, I'm a king because we turned away from these laws. That's why we're not in a kingly capacity right now. We got to come back to these scriptures. Because if the church really cared about you, they'll be coming to you. Church don't care about y'all. They just want your 10% of your money. But we need to come back to these scriptures. Right? Give me what you got. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You remember he was talking about the gangs earlier? See, if we follow our simple laws, it wouldn't be no gangs. It wouldn't be no crips. It wouldn't be no blood. Because think about it. You got a crip banging on a blood because one like blue and other like red. When both of y'all bleed the same blood. That's right. How in the heck you going to hate him because he's like he went red and vice versa? That don't make no sense. Read that again. Bring it out, brother. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You know what that shows? When you show that you follow somebody else, that shows weakness on your part. Homeboy said, man, let's go, let's go, man, we don't got no money, let's go rob this convenience store. You follow, no, dummy, get a job. Get a job. Why you gonna go rob something? You get, you rob somebody, you pop the man in the store, now you get caught, you got the rest of your life in jail for $100. Instead of getting a job, brothers up here got jobs, got houses, got three, four cars, doing good because we came back to the commandments. That's right. You understand? So we trying to tell y'all, come and learn. Because as you see, the plight of the black man is getting worse and worse. Nothing is going right for us. Wait, what, what, what side of town y'all live on? Welcome aboard GRT. Jackson Ward. Right. Now you got a couple corner stores in Jackson Ward, right? A predominantly black neighborhood, right? Do any black people own them stores? You got an Arab or an Indian dude in there, right? There you go. You ain't never thought about that. Why is a whole black community, but when I go to the store, I don't see somebody that look like me? We don't have nothing because we turned away from these commandments. And the Most High is now calling us back. But our young brothers need to first know, don't let this music and stuff infiltrate your mind to make you think that you're something that you're not. Because won't none of us born killers. Won't none of us born thugs. So why will you turn to that? Why? Because you lost your culture. And you lost your heritage. Don't let them distract y'all. That's not important. Y'all see that every day. Y'all ain't gonna hear this every day. That's right. Right? Give me Isaiah 51 and 20. I'm going to show you how this Bible is specifically talking about us. Because you're from Jackson Ward. Real good. You used to be right there a whole lot when I was young. Oh, yeah. Isaiah 51, 20, you give me um, Isaiah 42, 22. You're from Cornell. You're from Pasadena. You're from Cornell. 51, verse 20. Check this out. Now tell me that this book ain't talking about us. Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. The Bible says thy sons have fainted. Talking about you and like I was. We lost consciousness of who we are. We fainted. That's why we're walking around just looking. We don't, we don't know what's going on. We're walking around in a simple mindset. We fainted. We lost our consciousness to who we are. Come on. They lie at the head of all the streets. Where our brothers at? At the head of all the streets. They're laying in the streets. You go through the white neighborhood, you see white dudes on the street. Do you see that? No. That's our people, the black and Hispanics. Where we lie at? At the head of all the streets. As a wild bull 
net as a wild bull in the net. Because when we in the streets, we ain't out there doing community service. We ain't doing no charity. We're acting like wild bulls. What we doing? We got the 40s, we got the black and miles, we got the blunts. We're selling drugs, destroying our community. So now instead of us looking up to the working man, growing up, we look up to the drug dealer. Because they come through with the Benz, the Lex, the Cadillac, what have you. We look up to them. But at the same time, we look up to the drug dealer, but then when somebody get killed over drugs, everybody in the neighborhood crying. But you was praising the guy in the Cadillac, Lex, and Benz the other day. But soon somebody comes short with some money, or they get into some beef with somebody get popped, then we cry when we're mourning. We lie in the heads of all the streets as a wild bull. Give me 51 20. Caught up in the net. That net represents the system. That's the system we're caught up in. Looking at what everybody else does instead of what this Bible says. So we got to come out of that, man. This book is letting us know why we're at the bottom. That's right. We're at the bottom, y'all. But who does anything like the black man? Who can run like you? Who can jump like you, sing like you? Who can even invent things like you? Nobody. But why are we still at the bottom? We're turning away from these commandments. 51 to 20 from the top. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord. And the Lord is furious with that. Because y'all killing one another, our people, not saying y'all specifically. We're selling drugs to one another, destroying our communities even more. But nobody seems to care. We, don't, we think that's just the normal. That's not normal behavior. Why isn't the crack epidemic, epidemic all up in the white neighborhoods? Or in the Chinese neighborhood. Right. Because they take care of their neighborhoods. They won't allow that to happen. But our people say, oh, you snitching. You snitching. Listen, if a law about a citizen calls the police on a drug deal, that's not snitching. That's taking care of your community. Now, if you get in trouble and you tell on somebody else, that's what you call snitching or a rat. That's a no-no. But instead of us trying to clean up the community, we let everything slide. We let it go. But we can't keep doing that. Keep reading. They are full of fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. Therefore hear now this, that thou, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. The Bible said we're afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Because we're staggering from a whole lot of other teachers that they're putting upon us. As far as this rap music, keep pushing these things. Like you got Lil Wayne, all these other rappers. They write mostly about the streets, right? It's influencing y'all, but guess what? They're not in the streets. Nope. These brothers ain't in the streets. Lil Wayne live in a gated community. I know we ain't hear, him, hear from him in a while, but just let you know these rappers are not doing what they're talk, telling y'all to do. Right. Right? So as a result of us being in the streets, acting wild, killing one another, getting drunk and all this, what's happened to the black man? All the black men are well. Guess what? The most I told us what we would be before it even happened. Give me what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 22. And this is what's going to happen if y'all don't take heed. To the scripts. Come on. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Our people been robbed and spoiled. White man came in, robbed our heritage, robbed our culture, spoiled us, took our land, took everything we had, put us in slavery. Why? You know we was in slavery, right? Of all the nations or races on the earth, why did we get it so bad? Because we turned from this. So if we come back for this, guess what? The most I'm gonna put us back on top as our brothers and sisters start waking up. Come on. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. Hold on. Now who is the majority of people in the prisons? The so-called black and Hispanic. The Bible already told you this 2,700 years ago, that we were going to fill the prison houses. We are what, hid? They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. So that's our people that's all in the prison houses. Right? You know what I'm you, have, you know somebody that's locked up, right? I, I know all my boys locked up, either dead. That's us. The scripture's telling us why. It's because we turned away. So we get locked up left and right for stupid stuff instead of working. Come on. They that's are it. for a prey and none delivereth. White man praying on you. They make money off of your ignorance. Off of our ignorance, they make money off of us. The prison system is a lucrative system to the point Michael Jordan invests in it. But we don't have to go that route, brother. Like you say, you didn't know everything, you pull your pants up. That's good. Because like we say, you shouldn't walk around like that. It's not attractive to no female. So who are you trying to attract? 
And my white sister, that's not a she, it's not attracted to a female. So so you guess who you gonna attract? See new things that walked by a little while ago? That's who you gonna attract. <laughs> you understand? Keep your pants up, brother. Keep them up, come on.